So first off, wind sound warning. Uh, wind's starting to pick up. So yeah, wasn't about five minutes ago. Whatever. And also too, if you see that right there, please do subscribe. People are watching but not subscribing. It really does hurt us when you're not subscri uh, subscribing. Yeah. So saw by the title of this video, parts cars have been found. Not singular, multiple parts cars. Uh, there was one parts card that I found a couple days ago, and I was gonna make a small little post of it on YouTube. Um, well, not YouTube, but Facebook and everything. And I was gonna make something on YouTube. Um, we did one video on this in the '76 Roadrunner Super Coupe. That's gonna be posted up in the next couple days, or maybe later today. Not quite sure. I'll probably wait, you know, leave it for Tuesday because we didn't get no cars or anything because we did some other stuff. So pretty much you're gonna be seeing this today here on Sunday. So the parts cars, there's eight total that I found, but there's an issue. They're multiple states away. I can't afford to travel that far. And also too, I can't afford to buy the parts right now. So I'm really hoping for everyone to lend a hand to us here to subscribe here on YouTube, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, what those cars entail, perfectly good roofs. Uh, I can get front clips, but um, they don't seem to have the, the specific uh, hoods that these Roadrunners had. Those kind of bullhorn, well, it's not bullhorn. I, I can't remember what they're called now. It has that odd nose shape on the top, those uh, indentations. I could uh, get trunk lids, bumpers, doors. Uh, there's one door that they have kind of messed up on the inside, but it's a perfectly good door on the outside. So I'm thinking about grabbing that to skin it for my door since that one still has the VIN number on it. Um, pretty much anything and everything I can grab for this car. And another thing too about those cars, see this is the icing on top of the cake. All those cars, which is like two or three uh, Roadrunners, uh, I can't remember now, but the rest are satellites and satellite springs. They're all completely totaled and trashed. They're cut up, rotted out, bottomed out. The, the unit body frames from front to back are just all bent to snot. I mean, it's they're all no good but this one the only thing that's wrong with this i just replaced the the roof and adjust the front clip uh you know the unibody frame there for the engine that's pretty much it i did another analysis on this my uh, rails in the back on this b body are perfect uh there was no damage done to the unibody underneath when the loader picked it up um it's just pretty much a simple fix in the front a simple fix right here and i know i keep saying that and everything but it really is so um, I'm hoping for things to pick up for us here on YouTube so that way funds can come in more so that way I can get those parts because the main thing I really am going to go after is the hood very well not the hood excuse me the roof very first and then try to locate a hood but I'm thinking about holding off on the hood what's I uh, hmm excuse me I had a lot of water before I came out but uh, I'm gonna hold off on the hood until I get that uh, whole setup for the 6.2 liter Hellcat engine placed into this. Um, the floorboards gonna come a little bit later on uh, as well, because I don't know what needs to be adjusted and cut up and everything. Because the entire floorboard from front to back needs to be replaced. Because there's that big old punch hole over there, rust holes over there. There's also uh, some still snippets here and there. And plus two, someone. Um, they uh, punched some holes in there for some bucket seats because uh, this originally had the because this is a very basic model of uh, Roadrunner it's a 318 and yes it is a real Roadrunner no matter how many times I've proven it here online it's an RM21 but you know people fail to understand that but yeah it is what it is so I'm asking for help from everybody to please do subscribe help us out and especially help me out to get things going have proper funds and just uh, just to get parts for this because this is the only car that we're actually having issues on finding parts for everything else We actually can um, Can't except for maybe Tucker's 51 uh, Dodge Wayfair uh, three window business coupe, but that's kind of different But this one the B body um, Seems to be the most problematic I'm finding parts for But I have no problem of getting parts from uh, you know salvage yards junk yards and refurbishing them Cause that's what I'm gonna be doing this winter up in the in our old garage, is refurbishing parts so that way I can keep uh, content coming on you know all throughout winter. So 
uh, I have no idea on what else to say because I've covered this car so much um, other than just I've, I've found parts cars everybody I uh, I just need help with subscribers to get stuff going more and, and hopefully that when I ask for help on this sort of matter you know I can get the get the help because that's pretty much all I need um, people have offered to give money donations um, just for help fix some stuff up please no no money donations um, I'm entirely against that sort of thing I know everyone's to each their own but to me it just doesn't feel right so whenever we do live stream I want to have that feature turned off I just just want to be there the chat and mingle with everybody you know talk about stuff and everything because um, all the funds for this stuff we'll just gather up on our own from whatever stuff that YouTube gives us from the ad revenue in the future you know with the shorts funds you know a bunch of everything else uh, just save your money for yourself because uh, if you want to do something just treat yourself to like some ice cream or dinner or whatever it is I mean if whatever money that you want to donate to us just treat yourself to something whatever don't go to Dairy Queen or what or, or something so on that regard um, just please do subscribe follow us on Facebook Instagram and TikTok uh, things are getting pretty close to getting a lot of things going for this car just a lot a lot a lot I don't know what else to really say. I'm just so excited and everything's just racing forward. Like I said, I found one one parts car, but seven more, which equals up to eight. Uh, I kind of consider that a late birthday par uh, present to myself, really. So I'm kind of hoping that those things are there later in the year, if not next year. Because uh, here another thing, too, immigration for my wife from the UK is actually taking place. So that's another good thing, too. Because uh, we're kind of hoping not to miss uh, a third uh, wedding anniversary. It's been interesting and kind of rough. So, yeah. So, in the end, uh, just keep subscribing. Hold on to your money. Just don't give us anything. We'll, we'll just get stuff on our own once things get come, you know, coming in more here on YouTube. I don't know what else to say that. Just please, no money donations. I know people don't like hearing that. Like one person got cross about me uh, returning a free item, but the person changed their mind and wanted three hundred dollars for a said free item, where they're going to uh, pay for all shipping and handling, and that was that little uh, chrome bezel for the '66 uh, Bonneville up, up in the back between the lights. Said yeah, free shipping and handling, but then turned around wanted three hundred dollars for it. It's like no, that's why. So in any case. That's pretty much sums everything up right there. Uh, so darn close to getting a new roof for this car, but still yet so far. I know all you Mopar fans are, you know, hoping for me to work on this. I'm going to be working on it, but in the next couple weeks, because I got weather damage and other stuff to fix and organize up the rest of the property so that we can bring out better uh, videos in the future instead of just, you know, these little blog snippets here and there, because... Uh, I mean, I'm sure some people don't mind it, but to me, I'm kind of more of a perfectionist sometimes on that sort of regard, so. <sighs> Damn, this car is tall. <laughs> well, I guess I better get back in before that GoPro turns itself off from the heat because it's 98 degrees out. Uh so I shall post and talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one now. Take care and stay safe. See you later.